so today's lecture is based on the cohesive energy for crystals of nut gas or this is also known as Lennard George potentials so now the uh, your uh, ionic crystals uh, are very much different than your inert gas crystals because inert gas crystals are uh, the simplest they are transparent insulators and have low melting points transparent insulators because they do not have uh, your unpaired electron and their automotive cell and their electronic charge distribution is spherical symmetric this is also due to the completely filled outermost cell of inert gas atoms because their uh, octet is completely filled so their electronic distribution is a is a kind of a free uh, is kind of a that of a free atoms because also due to this outermost uh, completely filled and they are ha they are having your molecular crystals and they have fcc structures usually except uh, this your three helium and four helium because this three helium and four helium does not solidify at zero pressure and at absolute temperature due to your zero point motion which is further due to the your quantum mechanics or you can say this is due to your quantum effects because they are lighter and if you now if in in case other heavier atoms this quantum effects gets neglected and they do not so that so that they do not solidify at your absolute zero temperature so now also since because uh, your uh, inert gas atoms they behaves as a free atoms because uh, there is no distortion of electronic distribution due to your uh, your completely filled outermost cell so now how they how the cohesion in your inert gas crystals can be taken place so because all uh, 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 all the atoms in the, your inert crystals inert gas crystals uh, they act like a free free atoms because their octet is fully filled so now so because since we are observing your crystals of inert gas so there might be some other reason there might be some other factors due to which there is cohesion in your inert gas crystal because crystal ka banenge jab unke beech mein kya hoga cohesion force of cohesion hoga jab wo kya honge ek dusre ke bilkul completely kya bolte closely packed honge tabhi crystal banenge to uske liye to ye jo ionic crystal mein jo hum jo logic dete hain ki usme kya hota hai ki coulomb potential energy ke bas se aur usme ek repulsive potential hota hai which is of exponential form so now now in this uh, inert gas crystals their behavior is different because their octet is fully filled so now so this is also due to your uh, van der waal or you can say london interaction which is due to the your dipole dipole interaction and uh, there is another repulsive attraction repulsive attraction and that repulsive attraction when the uh, atoms came close to each other and they are about to overlap but they will not overlap due to the pauli's exclusion principle because when the uh, atom close to another atom so their electronic distribution also came close to each other and when they tend to uh, overlap the electron distribution they repel each other therefore they cannot overlap so that that repulsive interaction is due to your all is exclusion principle so now so uh, we know that what is your cohesive uh, cohesive energy how it is calculated so in ionic crystal we have uh, we know that your uh, potential energy uh, of ith atom when it it interacts with the other atom in the crystal that is 1 2 3 or you can so um, so on up to n and uh, since if this interacts with jth atom of the crystal so now this will be j1 to n and i is not equal to j because i th atom cannot interact with itself so therefore self interaction term is neglected here so therefore this will be u i j so this u i j is the potential energy between i th and jth atom of the crystal 
so thus this ui is the total cohesive energy of ith atoms in the crystal this is question number one so now your total cohesive energy of the crystal is given by this will be given by n y 2 n is the number of atoms in the crystal into your ui that is your cohesive energy uh, that is your cohesive energy or you can say potential energy from ith atom to jth atom so now this will be putting this value this will be n y 2 j 1 to n i is not equal to j this will be u i j this is equation number two here n n is number of atom and n y two because this comes because each pair is counted only once so therefore n y two is here so now so now further this your potential energy is made up of further two term first is your uh, attractive term which is due to the attractive interaction and second is repulsive interaction term this will be to made up of this attractive interaction and this was this attractive interaction is due to the wonder wall or london interaction this is wonder wall weak attractive force or you can sorry this is double a or london or you can say induced dipole dipole interaction so now so in, from the name it is clear that so this interaction taking place between the two nearest near, nearest atoms that is for this is ith atom this is jth atom so now because atoms here uh, we are taking as a dipoles because positive is at the center of nucleus you can say that this is due to the protons and this negative uh, negative is due to the your electronic charge distribution so when there uh, we are considering two nearest neighbors so this distance of separation is greater by their atomic radii so now here pi is your dipole moment or you can say this is, this is instantaneous produced on the atom i due to some fluctuation of charge distribution uh, of the atom jth is ki charge distribution ki fluctuation says may can produce over your induced dipole moment will be produced here and vice versa pj will be the uh, dipole moment induced on jth atom due to the fluctuation in the charge distribution in the ith atom so now so now field due to this p ith atom will be ed so since i am saying that this distance is greater than their atomic radii so then that means this is your sort dipole now for the sort dipole your this will be pi into r i j q so there must must be a term containing this the atomic radii that means that is that is is greater than zero so therefore this will be neglected here so this is equation number three this is the field so now field further induces the n dipole moment pj on jth atom so and it is given by pj is equal to alpha e into ed where alpha e is your known as electronic polarizability this you have you could have studied this in your your electro electromagnetism so now so since this is alpha so now you are from here putting this value of ed into this question number four 
now from equation 3 we can have pj is equal to if you put the value of alpha uh, sorry ed into this equation this will becomes so now so these dipoles will attract to each other so now thus from here we can calculate the energy of attraction you can say potential energy of the attraction from here so u attractive will be this will be minus because energy is always released in case of your attraction 4 by epsilon naught into 2 pi into pj divided by rij cube equation number 6 so now from equation number 5 put the value of pj into this equation so this will be therefore this will be u attractive will be minus 4 by epsilon naught 2 pi into r i j cube pj will be 4 by 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 alpha e into pi divided by r i j cube this is the value of this p j so now if you, we will calculate this this will be minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught whole square this will be 4 alpha e into pi whole square divided by this will be added this will be r i j 6 will be u attractive so now u attractive this will be proportional to minus 1 by r i j raised to power 6 where your this 1 by not you can say uh, I whole square into four alpha e is constant. So this is equation number seven, or you can say this is constant. Constant suppose this is constant C. So this will go U structure will be minus C upon or i j raised to power 6 equation number 8 here in this equation this r i j is your atomic radius you can say that atomic radius and this is of the order of r i j of the order of 1 angstrom 10 to the power minus 10 meter and uh, this c is constant is 10 to the power minus 77 joule per meter joule meter scale to power 6 and this is of the order of joule so now so this you can from this formula you can say that this wonderful this wonderful or London traction energy varies as r is to power 1 by r is to r i j raised to power 6 and since it is your short range interaction now second part of your your uh, potential energy will be made up of repulsive attraction so this uh, energy to the repulsive attraction is given by this empirical formula b divided by rij raised to power 12 so now since you can ask the question that in the previous lecture the repulsive attraction term was given by lambda exponential minus rij upon rho this was a centrifugal repulsive attraction in the ionic crystal but here this uh, repulsive attraction potential energy term is given by this formula so now because now this is chosen in case of ionic crystals because 
this uh, in this case the experimental data on the inert gases can be empirically fitted well means this formula better explains the behavior of ex uh, inert gases so thus this is chosen over this formula so now here rij is the distance between r and i and j i and j atoms so now so now and so also this repulsive interaction term is uh, come because when the atoms suppose when r and i and j atoms came closer to each other their electronic cloud tends to overlap and that's due to the pauli's exclusion principle they repel each other that means pauli um, according to pauli's exclusion principle the same electron cannot placed in do two electrons cannot placed in same energy level or if in more sophisticated way the in, if you tell in case of quantum mechanics their wave function must be anti symmetric the total potential term is the sum of your repulsive term plus attractive terms this is due to the pauli exclusion principle and this is due to the van der waal or your london interaction so now we put the value of these uh, constant v and c these are these values will be empirical that means this value will be chosen according to your curve fitting to explain your experimental data so now here b is equal to 4 epsilon sigma raised to power 12 and your c is equal to 4 epsilon sorry epsilon sigma raised to power 6 so these are chosen to fit your experimental data in such a way to fit the your experimental data or you can say to explain the experimental data exclusively and here epsilon is your known as bell depth uh, so this this gives the measure how strongly the these two particle i and j particle attracts and uh, you can say that this is your and another this sigma this sigma is known as your van der waal radius or this gives the measure of the distance at which the intermolecular potential between two particle is zero this gives the distance this is your how your two particles how strongly two particles can interact the sigma is your bell depth and so is your sigma is your epsilon is bell depth sigma is your wonder wall radius 